Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. My name is Ali, and in today's video, we are actually gonna be talking about a brand new interface from Avid that could possibly get rid of latency altogether. <laughs> So if you've ever recorded at home, you've probably used an interface before. Most interfaces actually use a Thunderbolt cable that plug in through USB, this allowing your computer to do all of the digital signal processing, also known as DSP. Now this is a great idea. You just turn your buffer speed down and you don't have to worry about latency at all. Latency is the time that the signal from the microphone is processed that gets to your headphones. Whenever, whenever the time gets backed up, the artist starts to hear themselves about a second late, depending on how bad it is. And this is not ideal when recording. You need less latency as possible. And a lot of people believe that if you're using a Thunderbolt interface, that latency can be removed altogether if you decrease your buffer size. It does work until you start adding more and more into your project. And once you start adding multiple tracks and multiple layers into your project, you start to experience more of a latency. So this brand new interface from Avid called Carbon is actually claiming that latency will not be there. That is because Carbon actually has its own DSP on the device. Now, this is an incredible idea as it processes the signal before it even gets to your computer. And if you use Avid's Pro Tools, there's actually going to be an option on Pro Tools to activate that DSP. So you can actually turn it on and off. And you can also use the plugins that you want while working on the project in Pro Tools. So altogether, this is a genius idea because if you've ever had a vocalist who wanted to re-record something when you were like almost done with the project and you're like eh, I don't know what to do it's like should I export the file and just have her sing over it and then put it back into the project that's probably the only way you could do it considering the amount of latency that you would experience with all the plugins attached to your project. Now, if you were looking to get this interface, it would actually cost you around $4,000. So I'm not recommending it to any beginner that is looking to buy an interface. I would recommend something from Focusrite or Motu as they are simple and get the job done and they're compact so you can take them anywhere you want. I am hoping in the future DSP is actually incorporated more into the interfaces we use today and I believe that most time we don't use DSP on our interfaces because they actually require another software that you have to launch on your computer including your DAW. So I am looking forward to the future of DSP on interfaces. It could change the game for recording overall. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Again, my name is Ali. Be sure to check us out on Instagram and Facebook as we post there often. In the meantime, subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit that notification bell, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys on Tuesday. Have a great day. Bye.